some example workouts for the next fit and functional challenge. Getting down? Okay. Anyway, working on example workouts to post for the next challenge. It always cracks me up. People are like, can you post example workouts? I'm like, well, it's kind of like all of the workouts on my page are example workouts of either the gym and home version because I try to obviously make the guides as similar um, as I can to my normal workouts because obviously the people following me like my workouts for a reason, so I would assume those are the workouts they want. So anyway, um, if you're someone who's new here, you can look through all of my swipe workouts and that is what you can expect on my fit and functional guides, challenges, whatever. Um, you don't have to join the challenge, which is why I try to just call it a guide because the challenge portion is optional, but yeah, the benefit to a program is that you are actually, or the benefit to the guide is that you're actually following a proper program rather than whatever workouts you save for me or from someone else. You're not probably not doing them in a proper progressive program because you're just kind of doing random workouts. So that's the benefit of following a challenge or a guide. So anyway, working on that. Um, and I did, I finally showered when I got home. I did that little hamstring and glute workout you guys saw. The main goal, I need to set this down. My arm is so tired, but I don't have you guys on a tripod. Well, that, that's not gonna work. That's definitely not, oh my God. Just need to make sure it doesn't fall. That's gonna work. I just cannot touch my desk. Um, yeah, I did that little hamstring and glute workout and the whole point was basically to figure out what I can do without any discomfort in my lower back glute that I've been getting worked on at the chiropractor. So he told me to basically lift off of plates just to limit my range of motion and take a lot of that tension off of my low back slash glute at the very bottom of the movement. So I lifted off of 45 pound plates. I did 10 rounds of 10, eight to 10 deadlifts. Um, I stuck with pretty light weight in comparison to what I would normally do. Once again, trying not to aggravate my back. And I paired that with glute bridges for like 12 to 15, just to help engage my glutes a little bit more. And then also press ups. So those are the exercises he's been having me do to alleviate pressure in my back. Because I'm sitting all day, this position basically just causes a lot of tension to build up in my lower back and glute. 
and doing those press ups or when I stand up, just pushing on my back is doing the opposite of that. So it's helping to alleviate some of that pressure. So I did that in between almost every single set. I didn't do it in between my warm up sets, but I didn't have any pain in that area of my back, which is a huge win. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not too sore. Um, but yeah, so I did that workout. I took yesterday completely off because I was just so tired from the holidays. Um, so I think I am gonna do my shoulder workout tonight. I'll probably modify it so it's not as long because technically I'll be doing like a two a day today. Even though my first workout was only 30 minutes, I'll probably just make my shoulder workout like 30 to 40 minutes as well. Uh, yeah. And then I have more computer work to do. So I'm going to edit another swipe workout as like an example workout to post tomorrow. And then I think the workout I'm doing tonight here is going to be an example home workout so I can film, edit that, and post that as well. Just because even though it seems like obvious to me that the guide would be similar to the workouts I normally post, I know there's a lot of new people who just don't know. And I, I always have to like remind myself that there's new people. It's not like the same people have been following me for forever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And I need to finish up making some of the graphics for the next guide. I did answer a lot of questions on my Instagram over it. So if you have any questions, I guess one comment down below and I will try to get back to you guys. But if you go on Instagram, if you have Instagram on my highlight, I might actually just put it over the screen right now so you guys can see. I answered a lot of questions about what the split is. Basically the exact same split, except there are two leg days. You can come in. No, <laughs> there are two leg days rather than just one. So it's a six day split rather than five day. Because of that, the guide is $5 more. Um, so if you buy the combined version, you get the entire home guide and the entire gym guide, just like normal, but they're both six day splits instead of five day splits. So you get 24 extra workouts. And what else? That was basically the main question as like pricing and what the split is. The challenge is going to be the same. You, it's full 12 weeks and yeah it's launching as an ebook not on the guy or not on the app because the app isn't ready i think i already mentioned that that was a little bit of a bummer but it's okay it's all right that's something i definitely don't want to rush and when it's ready it's ready it'll be good um yeah i also i talked about these on instagram so if you follow me on instagram sorry if i'm just repeating myself but i got my new loopy cases this was the one I had on my old phone, the Opal. I think it's so pretty. It's white, but iridescent at the same time. And so yeah, they got the ones for the new iPhone and I got the Buffalo plaid to match like all of our Christmas holiday stuff. <laughs> and then look at this. I literally am like matching so well right now. <laughs> Very pretty. But I do have a discount code with them now. It's just Jaeger. Any updates with you? You guys haven't seen Christopher in a while. No updates, no, nothing new. How was Christmas? Did you like all your gifts? Christmas was great. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not working right now. Yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. Sweatshirts. Yeah, so I got, actually, blankets. we'll just run down. I got him cuts t-shirts. Yeah. Well, cuts shirts in general. They have long sleeve and short sleeve. He loves those. He's a size large. I got him more ABC pants, ABC joggers, because yeah. he loves those. Yeah. Dry sense shirts. Mm -hmm. He loves those. Mm -hmm. What's... Oh, I got him this little corksicle glass that's like half ice. And then you put bourbon. I think it's meant for bourbon and the other side just to like keep it cold. I got him Hydro Jug. I'm actually using the white one. I got him a white and a gray and a black sleeve because he kept carrying around my pink one, which is not a problem. But I figured he'd prefer a more neutral <laughs> jug. What else? I feel like there was something else that I'm forgetting. Oh, I got him a bunch of bourbon. Yeah, the bourbon. I got him a bunch of bourbon. Want to tell me about me? Got her a few crop crop sweatshirts. People loved the Ohio one on my store yesterday. From where I'm from. Like, yeah. The crop, oh yeah. That one and some sweatpants. Oh, they match. They're very comfy. A couple cropped hoodies. From one from Nike. One Nike from and, uh, Champion. Champion. 
Got her some Timberland boots. He did. So he was going to get me Nike Air. No. What are those called? Air Max. Air Max. But they were like sold out. So he got me Timberlands instead. <laughs> He's like, I Whatever. doubt you ever wear these. Yeah, I'm going to. Not. I will. We'll see. Got her a, a new, uh, a, one of those knit blankets. Like a big oh, one. The ones on Pinterest. You know, like the really big woven ones. Yeah. Very pretty. It was expensive, so I hope it's nice. Yeah, and it's really soft. I'm um, going to bring it up here. I just need to find a place where the cats aren't going to absolutely destroy it. Um, My face and I got her a Theragun, but it's not here yet. It shipped, though, finally. Well... They oh. made it. They made a tracking number, so it hasn't. Oh, so they yet. just <laughs> they're basically processing it. Now. Yeah, they said if you order it by twelve fourteen, it would be here by Christmas. <laughs> Maybe like that's the ex expectation. I ordered it on twelve ten, and they just got a tracking number, so yeah. I doubt it's going to be here for another week. It's all right, but I already knew about that one. Yeah. And then we didn't really do much for stockings. I think that's it. I got your toothbrush. Oh yeah, actually, I have to. I haven't taken it out because Matt said I have to, pr like, go online and do you something. You have to do that when you take it out. You can do that whenever. Oh. He got a quib. A quib. Quip? quip or quib? One of the two. I'm not. I can't remember. The popular toothbrush on social media. <laughs> hey, bath bath stuff. <gasps> yeah, bubble bath stuff. Poopery. Poopery. Chapstick. Gotta love it. Chapstick. Candy. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. It was a good couple days. Yeah, it was exhausting. It was exhausting, yeah. So tired. So, all right, well, I'm off to the gym. Is that what I you're going for? I don't know. Okay, I'll give you a hug. Thanks. You're welcome. Have fun. This is going to be his first time to the gym in a long time, long too. Long time. Long <laughs> what time. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing push. And then you're doing legs later. You're basically two, doing opposite. Two days. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get back to work. And then we'll go down and probably heat up some white chicken chili. It is much later in the hey, day. Stop it. No. <laughs> this is one of the two Christmas decorations that is still up. We took everything down. I'm actually interested. Um, you guys know I obviously decorate really early. We decorated even earlier this year because it was our first year in the house and I wanted to see what all we still need to, needed to get. Three? Yeah. This one and that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there is three. So anyway, this is number one, the tree in our room, um, mainly because we have to get the box. I left the, well, we're about to go downstairs, so I'll show you. But the tree that was downstairs, I was able to leave fully decorated and put together. So it's just sitting downstairs. Our main tree, I need to turn the lights on. So yeah, this is the second decoration that's still up. And technically that, we're gonna eventually get a TV for there, but don't mind all the blankets over that. The cats have been trying to scratch at it, so I'm trying to get them to not. I need to get double-sided tape, but it was stupid of us to even get a leather chair. It's just gonna get ruined. Anyway, I took the big tree down. We took everything down two, was it two days after Christmas? Chris? It was Sunday, so whatever day that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we took everything down on Sunday the 27th, so two days after Christmas. I'm a big like, Super excited for Christmas, but then once it's over, especially this year, I was just so ready to move on to 2021 and new things that we took everything down. Um, I'm leaving these up for now because it's obviously still winter and like all of that's fine. Um, but everything else, <laughs> I have to move that somewhere. But yeah, we still have our Christmas lights to take down outside once the weather gets better. We'll take all of that down, but other than that, Christmas is no longer in our house, huh? Oh, hi, little one. Okay. Yeah. Like you're gonna leave. Just one shot of Hennessy. Next thing you run over me, all over me. We act like we're hard to get, but we know this is imminent. Cause we keep falling right into it, right into it. Oh, we were only fun.
update video with two workouts but I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I am gonna try to get back in the routine of vlogging again which yesterday it was already a little easier however I did accidentally delete the intro to this video so I originally recorded while I was sitting in the parking lot about to go into my chiropractor appointment and I definitely hit record so I must have deleted footage because it said my camera was full uh, and I had to go back through and delete stuff and apparently I deleted too much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though there wasn't an intro to the video. To finish editing this, change, make another cup of coffee, and then go train my in-person client. I've trained her the past two days. Chris and I spent last night after, or I guess before we went down to work out, we were sitting in our basement going over kind of like 2021 goals, but also just what we want to do. Um, hopefully everything is a little bit better in 2021 and we're able to actually do the traveling we wanted to, but we will just see. Regardless, I think we're going to take like a little long weekend getaway sometime here soon because I know we're both feeling a little burnt out and just need a little getaway. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated with that. I'm very excited for 2021. Um, one of the main reasons, <laughs> even feels weird to be talking about this, but this is like the reality of where we're at. Um, we really wanted to do a lot of like, after we got married, the goal for 2020 was to travel a lot, you know, get, have a full year of travel and just enjoy one-on-one -on -one time with each other, which we got the one-on-one -on -one time, but obviously COVID changed things and we didn't get to travel where we wanted to, but, or really at all. So we wanted to do that because after we traveled, we wanted to have babies. So the goal for 2021 is to travel, even if it's only to places within the U.S., just to do some little getaway trips just the two of us like we wouldn't be in any big groups or anything anyways but just to have some one-on-one -on -one time for ourselves so then we can start a family um, obviously we can travel after we have babies but it's different and I don't think I have to explain that so we'll see what happens in 2021 i have very high hopes but also i'm being very realistic with myself and we're just being realistic in general we're not booking any of the big trips yet we're just gonna wait and see and hope that we can make it back to hawaii for our anniversary um in september and we would love to go to canada chris has never been i've only been once so we would love to go to Canada next winter to just have like once again another like long weekend, but we're not booking any of that because who knows if we'll be able to. This is just like a little chat. This is what we spent last night doing, going through like, okay, realistically, where do you think we could travel and how much time we would need and his days off and all of that. So we will see. I know we're not alone in wanting to get back to like just normal life and be able to travel a little bit more so hopefully 
fingers crossed, <laughs> we're able to do more in 2021. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I need to finish uploading this. There's no way this is gonna be up by 8 a.m. So I might have to upload this once I get back from training my client, but we will see. I'll see you guys in the next video.